mistyping a tool set, tool wear comp on the tool data or tool offset screen may cause a bad part. I'm gonna show you how to prevent it on today's Mazak Minute. Hi, I'm Mike Zilich with the HEH Group. Today's topic on the Mazak Minute is input error prevention function. On this, we have it available on several controls, starting with the Smooth AI, the Smooth G, the Smooth X, the Smooth EZ, as well as the legacy controls, the Matrix, Matrix 2, and the Matrix Nexus. Normally, the input prevention function is invalid from the factory. Parameters F81 bit 7 is the parameter that will validate that. F95 bit 4, that gives me the ability to have a window appear on the screen if the increment value is larger than a predetermined parameter. F124, 125, 126, those parameters are the parameters that we use for the maximum allowance. Let's take an in-depth look at the parameters. The first parameter we're gonna look at is gonna be F81 bit seven. Bit seven is gonna be the furthest most left bit on there. And if you look at the screen, you're gonna see that I have the one all the way on the left in a square. From the factory that's set to a zero, I need to have you change that to a one. The next parameter, F95 bit four, Again, highlighted on the control, that's a zero. And even from the factory, it is set to a zero where that is going to be a window prompt versus an alarm on the screen. As far as the settings go, we're gonna go to parameter F124. That's the one that will adjust or monitor the tool set, the tool length, actual diameter, length comp, corrections, and on the tool offset page, it will also do the geometry. Typically from the factory, this parameter is set to 5,000. If you look at the screen, you're gonna see in a red box, you need to look at the, what the unit or increment of a, the uh, parameter is. In this case, it's 0. .00001, so a 5,000 value will be 50 thousandths. If you look at the very bottom of the screen where I give an example, you see the permissible data, 5,000 times 0 .0001 gives me that 50. Now let's look at F125. Mazak will call that the value change two. What this is looking for is the wear comps on the tool data or the wear comps on the tool offset screen. Mazak typically has this set to a 500, which is the equivalent of 5 thousandths. F126 parameter, that is the maximum setting of the wear compensation amount. Factory setting is a zero. Let's go ahead and take a look at the control now and see how this works. Being on the tool data screen, I'm gonna call up a T drill. Going to the tool set, you have the ability to increment the value if I wanted to make the drill go deeper. In this example, I'm gonna to forget to tight hit the increment button. I'm gonna come in and just say minus 10. Hitting the input, you're gonna see it causes an alarm giving me my current data 12.515 and my input of negative 0.01. The increment value you can see is 12 and a half inches. Obviously I don't want to make a 12 and a half inch adjustment. So right now I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Now let's repeat it. I'm going to come in and do another error. 
I'm going to come in and I'm going to highlight the increment soft key. I'm going to increment that value by 60 thousandths. I press input. You see that it has the current data, the inputted data, and the increment being 60 thousandths. The F124 parameter was set to a maximum of 50 thousandths, causing this alarm. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel one more time, and I'm going to show you a value that if I adjust it by, let's say, 20 thousandths, you will not get the prevention window. It will actually take care of the value and allow the machine to keep going. By following these simple steps, you can avoid making a bad part. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Mazak Minute.